Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make baked beans. So these are the ingredients that we will be using today. We will be using seasoning, ground beef, bush baked beans, brown sugar, cane sugar, onions, and bell pepper. So first I start out by dicing my onion and bell pepper. I used half of an onion and half of a bell pepper and I cut them down till they were finely chopped to the point where when they're cooked you will barely notice that they're there. Once that is complete, I will place them together and set them to the side for just a moment. The seasonings we will be using today is black pepper, adobo all-purpose seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm going to drizzle this extra virgin olive oil in my pan that is warming up. Normally I would like to use the grapeseed oil, um, but today we're going to substitute with the olive oil. Then we're going to saute the vegetables. And now we're going to add two pounds of beef, ground beef, into the pot.
A great tip that I have when you're making baked beans with added beef is to try your best to chop down the beef as soon as possible before it is fully cooked so that the beef pieces can be as fine as possible and once it's all mixed together it will have a nice consistency and not be chunky. It is very important to season your beef before adding your baked beans or any type of sweetener. Seasoning your beef will allow the flavor to be altered once the end result is here because if your beef is seasoned, it won't taste like t it won't be tasteless basically is what I mean. So if you are making baked beans with beef added, please make sure that you are adding some seasoning. And I'm sure you also noticed that I did not put a lot of the adobo seasoning. The adobo is our sodium content in this case, and I did not put a lot of the adobo. We did put a lot of garlic and onion powder, but as far as it being, you don't want it to be salty at all because if you make it really salty you're gonna definitely taste the difference you don't want it to have a salty sweet taste you want it to have a sweet and savory taste So before we let this cook down together, we're going to go ahead and put in our dark brown sugar. In total, this bag holds about two cups of sugar and we're going to only place one cup of dark brown sugar. And then we're going to mix it together. Next, we're going to go in with our cane sugar. You can use white granulated sugar. I decided to use pure cane sugar for this time as 
It is somewhat brown and we're going to only use about one cup of this as well. So in total, one cup of dark brown sugar and one cup of regular sugar. and a half a stick of butter. Once it has simmered for about 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to then pour our content into a pan. I like to finish off my baked beans in the oven uncovered so that it can thicken. I do like to have a nice thick creamy type consistency. I don't like watery baked beans. So I like to place it in the oven so that the sugar and butter can start to caramelize between the beans and the beef. So I did not get a finished result of it while being in the pan when I took it out of the oven as it was for one of my son's birthday party. Um, but I did go ahead and insert a clip of one of my plates. This would be my third helping. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Mac and cheese tutorial coming soon.